Hi rock stars, this is Miss Rogers here and today we are going to have a super amazing, super exciting, super cool lesson on organizing and analyzing data. Now you may be wondering, Miss Rogers, what does that mean? So when organizing and analyzing data, which is standard MD4, there are a few steps that you need to take. First, you need to create a survey question and survey a few people, like, what is your favorite dinosaur? Then you need to gather the information and create a tally chart. You may even make a graph, but today we're only going to really focus on the tally chart. And then finally, you need to analyze the information that you've gathered like T-Rex had the most votes, or Stegosaurus had the least votes, or maybe even Triceratops got one less vote than T-Rex. So, I thought a super cool question could be, what color school shoes are you rocking today? I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. So I asked a few teachers to send me in a video of what school what color school shoes they're rocking today and I'm sure you're wondering what color school shoes am I rocking today well I am rocking my blue shoes okay let me be honest these aren't really my school shoes they're just my favorite shoes I have to change into my other ones later but anywho, let's see what color school shoes our teachers are wearing. Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Gilbert, and I have on um, brown shoes and pink socks. Hey, y'all. Mr. Powell here. Just want to show you what kind of shoes I'm wearing today. Looks like I am wearing some brown shoes. Hey, boys and girls. It's Miss Alexander, or now I'm Mrs. Love. Um, guess what color shoes I have on today? They're brown. Hey friends, it's Miss Hudson. And today I have on da, 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 black shoes. Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Newell. And today I have on brown shoes. Hi boys and girls. This morning, it took me the longest time to get dressed because I could not figure out what color shoes to wear. I looked them all over my closet, looked around my house, went to my sister's room looking for shoes, and then I found just the perfect pair. Can you guess what color shoes I wore today? Did you guess white shoes? If you did, you were right. Hi guys, this is Miss Ramsey and I have on brown shoes. Hi, I'm Miss Leith and I have on blue shoes. Hi, I'm Miss Jackson and I have all white shoes. Hey boys and girls, how are you today? It's Miss Wallace. Can you guess what color shoes I have on today? Ooh. Hi, this is Miss Taylor Wilson and today I have on black shoes. Hey boys and girls, I know you're wondering what kind of shoes am I rocking today? I am rocking my blue shoes i'm rocking blue shoes today hi this is miss sanders and can you guess what color shoes i'm wearing if you guess brown shoes you are absolutely correct Hello, this is miss james and today my shoes are black hi guys this is mrs webb guess what color shoes i'm wearing today Red. So as you can see, I took a survey asking the teachers what color school shoes they were rocking today. Now, I am going to try to fill in my tally chart by marking off each color shoe and then notating it right here on the tally mark. So let's begin. First, I have a brown shoe. So I'll put one tally mark for brown. Then we have a blue shoe. So I have one tally mark for blue. Then we have a white shoe. Then we have a black shoe. Another black shoe. Another pair of black shoes. Oh, now we have a red shoe. White shoes. 
brown shoes another pair of brown shoes oh look brown shoes and black shoes are tied right now black shoes brown shoes look another pair of brown shoes and remember now that I'm getting to five I need to make sure I draw a diagonal okay blue shoes brown shoes wow look at brown is in the league and then blue shoes so now if i want to finish filling out my tally chart i need to count how many tally marks are in each section so for brown shoes i see i have five six tally marks so the total of six teachers wore brown shoes today and then for black, I have one, two, three, four. For white, I have one, two. For blue, I have one, two, three teachers. And then for red, I have one teacher who wore red shoes today. Okay, so now let's look at the data and let's try to analyze it. So looking at the information, I wonder what color shoe did most teachers rock today? And if I look at my tally chart, I want to find the color that has the most tally marks. And that would be brown. Brown has six tally marks. So six teachers wore brown shoes. So that's the color that we saw the most. Now I wonder which color received the least amount of votes or had the least amount of teachers. So I need to find which color had the least amount of tally marks. And it looks like red only had one teacher, so only one teacher wore red shoes. Okay, rock stars, now I need a little help with this survey. The question was asked, what zoo animal is your favorite? And here are the answers. So for every zoo animal, that represents a person's favorite zoo animal. Okay, so every time I see a giraffe, I will put a tally mark next to giraffe. And every time I see a monkey, I'll put a tally mark next to monkey and so on. So let's begin. Let's see, I have one giraffe, a monkey, a zebra, another monkey okay now I have another giraffe another giraffe well it looks like giraffes are in the lead oh, here's a zebra another giraffe it's four another monkey well we have another giraffe what should I do with this fifth tally mark that's right, go ahead and draw the diagonal. Okay, then I have another monkey, and then another giraffe, another monkey. Remember, I have to draw my diagonal. Another giraffe, a monkey, and then a zebra. Okay, rock stars. so it looks like we've completed drawing our tally marks. Now let's go over here and write the total. So I see I have one, two, three people who voted for zebra. Then I have five, six people who voted for monkeys. Then I have five, six, seven people who voted for giraffes. Okay, now that we've filled out our tally chart, let's analyze this data. So, hmm, what do we notice? Let's think. Which zoo animal had the most votes? Would it have been the monkey? Why not? That's right, because monkey only got six votes, but I see another animal that had even more votes than monkey. Which one was that? You've got it, the giraffe. 
So the giraffe received the most votes as the favorite zoo animal. Great job, rock stars. Okay, let's see if we can identify the animal that got the least amount of votes. Remember, least means it's the smallest number. So, hmm, which animal received the least amount of votes? That's right, the zebra, because the zebra only received three votes, and that's the smallest number. Okay, rock stars, now it's your turn. Go into Seesaw and complete the tally chart. Once you're done, you're going to go to the second page, and you're going to answer the questions. So our focus was standard MD4, organizing and analyzing data. Remember that whenever you're organizing and analyzing data, you need to first create a survey question, then you need to gather the information, which we did today by using a tally chart, and then also we can analyze that information by asking and answering questions. Well, that's all for today. See you soon.